This will be runs. And it will be a boundary. Right now, Pakistan will take them anyhow. Bowl a touch unlucky there. Well, it's lucky, very lucky indeed for Molson. Just walking across his his stumps, whitish delivery. He certainly was in his right, and he wanted to free his arms. That thickish outside edge. He could have gone anywhere. That's a good blow. It was going to be a question of time before one or two of these Pakistan batsmen look to get on with it. Six. And that is a very powerfully struck one. Well, that drinks break must have brought about a, a change in Pakistan's thinking. That Belize captain got seven fielders on the offside, so the two only on the leg side. There's no harm. And are aware that he can turn it. But he does need to use the pitch. And a full toss makes it very simple for someone like Mosin. Yeah, as a batsman, uh, you need to watch out for loose deliveries. And uh, once you see the loose deliveries, you need to put it away. And that's exactly what uh, Hassan Mosin has done. He's uh, taken away outside the off time and knew where the fielders were. Roll up the wrist and got enough to the bat to pick up a boundary. swept away again and he's found the gap not only has he found the gap he's hit it with so much power and in front of the square most occasion when you see a batsman play a sweep shot it will go behind square look at that shot you talk about the power what about the placement excellent placement uh, from uh, Mohsen gets on top of it nice roll of the wrist and a really good shot uh, side screens to cleaning boots to making tea wide and driven driven exceptionally well talk about Nepal and, and the fact they can't allow just to give away freebies this is a freebie from uh, Tamang a little bit of flight but really could have put that anywhere poor delivery no man out on the uh, offside all three Well, and that was hit, hit extremely well, just short of a length. But Mohsin went back deep into his crease, and almost played like a baseball shot. Yeah, Kushel Bertel back into the attack, and I think now Pakistan believe this is the opportunity. Pace on the ball, perhaps not as much in the wicket now. The ball a little bit older, and, and now's the time to really capitalise and build this partnership. And, and putting the ball under pressure, I think that's eating. And again, this time a little bit better. Well, I think you can see the plan straight away. Straight away with pace on the ball, he's decided there's no way I'm going to let you bowl at me with mid on and mid off up in the circle. I'm in currently 64, not out. I'm going to go across my stumps and hit you straight over mid on, mid wicket. And once I get it up and over, guess what? It's a boundary. Change in field cover. That's a big blow. Got himself in a great position. And that's cleared the boundary very comfortably. And that ends the 36th over. And drinks. A shot we see so often. And this is pulled off brilliantly. does he do there I mean, it wasn't particularly a bad ball it was online just the skill from the batsman at this pace he had all the time there to see it get it over the keeper's head you play this shot Lisa yeah I certainly like it but it's almost gone top edge so he's looking to go on the leg side and it's more of a leg cutter as well so it kind of followed the batsman and it hit the top edge he was lucky that it still flew away well, 136 partnership. 
put them in a strong position and it's going to get better another full delivery and it's been really the standout of uh, Mohsin's uh, innings the way that he's been able to uh, open up the leg side with both uh, pull shot and also the sweep well it's an easy shot for him and the ball, we've seen the ball turn a lot, but he hasn't used the wicket this time. And a full toss just makes it very simple. And no fielder out. This one will go all the way. All the way for six. Pakistan in control. That's his third six. Didn't miss uh, this time around. Down in one knee. And a big one, 74 meters. Played it quite easily. Bit of seam up at a net practice, and he did that very well. And the coach said to him, "Well, you swing it so well. Why don't you do this rather?" And that's how it all started for him. <laughs> they spotted early on uh, enough. The coaches must have thought that uh, that's beautifully ball has he nicked it? Yes, he has. I was speaking about uh, the kind of movement he had extract, especially with the white new ball, and he bowls a beauty, picks up the first wicket. This is some good bowling. He's just got that length right. The ball has swung. He's asked the batsman to have a drive, and look, that's all it needs to do. Just that little bit. The length been the big factor yeah just lulling the batsman into edge this time and no mistake it seems to be a plan bowling full and wide and Molson keeps shaping the ball his day gets better doesn't it 117 from uh, 106 deliveries his second wicket now swing uh, has been there not as much pace as Lear Cat full and wide and this carries because he flays at it doesn't he would have been uh, a wide Karki with a green shot simple catch as well goes for five uh, Nepal in trouble 23 for three edge and taken this time looking to play the ball that vacant leg side area and caught the thickest outside edge another wicket as well for uh, Mosin full and this one just holds doesn't it perfect seam not the right delivery to try to hit through the uh, leg side on off stump simple chance for our fees and his day gets better and better It's Sheik who goes uh, for one from seven balls. Nepal in trouble. 29 for four. He's down. Oh. And a faintest edge. Must have been so faint, but the umpire heard it. And Mohsen picks up his fourth wicket. Make that all five wickets to full deliveries. Amanshu Dutta, who again just pushes it away. One does he need to play it? Halfway to home for Pakistan. Four for eleven, got five overs for uh, Mosin. Put a hundred in with that. He goes without scoring. Nepal.